Now that we have looked at scalar product of two vectors, we can look at the multiplication of two matrices. Let's first try to multiply in a matrix to a vector. Suppose we have matrix A, and its dimension is m by n. Here's a notation we often use to specify the dimension of a matrix. We write down its dimension on the lower right corner of this letter that represents the matrix. And we have a vector x that is n by 1. What is the product of a and x? A matrix multiplying a vector is going to be another vector. And the dimension of this product is going to be m by 1. You can remember it by thinking that you are multiplying m by n to n by 1, and you're just deleting the middle m's. In fact, if these two numbers in the middle are not equal to each other, then this matrix of this dimension m by n will not be able to multiply the vector. So if you have m by n plus 1, you cannot multiply it to a vector of m by 1. That will not work. And the reason why it doesn't work will be obvious once we look at the definition of this product y. This product y is defined as the following. The i-th element of y is equal to the sum that is a sub i 1 multiplying x1 plus a sub i 2 multiplying x2 plus etc. plus a sub i n multiplying x n. Doesn't this sum look familiar? You're right, it's exactly the scalar product of a vector a and this vector x. If a is the vector that is the i-th row of matrix a, Therefore, the product of a and x is defined as the vector whose i-th element is the scalar product of the i-th row of a and vector x. And if we write out each element of y explicitly, then we have the following correspondence between the vector x and vector y. That is a sub 1 1 multiplying x sub 1 plus a sub 1 2 multiplying x sub 2. The scalar multiplication of the first row of a and vector x equaling to the first element of y. And repeating that for each row until the last row. Doesn't this also look very familiar? You're right, it is an m by n linear system about x if the right-hand side is y. And therefore, the multiplication between a matrix A and a vector x is defined in such a way to describe a linear relationship between the vector x and the product y. Naturally, we can extend this definition to the multiplication of two matrices. Suppose we have matrix A, that is M by N, and matrix B, that is N by S. Then their product is a matrix of dimension M by S. You can think of it as canceling out the inner dimensions of the two matrices and taking the outer dimensions to form the dimension of the product. And the definition of this product matrix is very natural. Simply multiply the matrix A to each column of matrix B and put that in the corresponding column of matrix C. So the first column of this product matrix is matrix A multiplying the first column of matrix B. And then the J's column of this product matrix is the multiplication of matrix A to the J's column of matrix B. And therefore, the element C sub IJ which is the element of matrix C on the i row and j-th column, is equal to the scalar product of the i row of matrix A and the j-th column of matrix B. By this definition, you can also tell that if the inner dimensions of the two matrices are not equal to each other, then they cannot be multiplied to each other.